Hi guys, I was just uh, packing my stuff. Uh, I'll be leaving in an hour for my airport. Uh, so just as I was packing, I thought I'll just quickly shoot a video telling you what all important materials are required and um, in detail a discussion, a brief discussion about each task and uh, what all is important about it. So yeah, let's begin. So these are the jaws. If you can see this, here are the jaws. Uh, these are magnetic, so it just fits on the mannequin. So basically, uh, this jaws itself costs four hundred dollars U.S. dollars, not Australian dollars. Whatever I'm talking about will be in U.S. dollars right now. So you can buy this from One Dental or Navda. Uh, apparently, only these two companies are selling, or you can buy it from a previous ADC candidate who's willing to sell everything in one go, which would be very good for you. Otherwise, you can just order it online and wow, they charge a bomb for their courier and insurance. But yeah, this is how it is. See, consider ADC like a well where you are just putting the money in and someday you'll get a return apparently. So uh, let's st start with the first task. Uh, do you see this tooth? This one, prepared tooth. That's what a preparation looks like. Uh, this is on a central incisor. You can get tooth preparation on this or you can get it on a molar like you know I've prepared a crown on this you can get a preparation on a molar uh, you can get it on a canine you can get it on a central incisor you can even get a preparation on the seven like the tooth number seven so uh, you almost devote like one one and a half hour for that yeah I've prepared this seven also you see. So your aim should be that you should do preparation on all the teeth because that's how you would practice and each tooth you should prepare at least 20 times minimum. Then only you will be very very confident of preparing the tooth properly in the exam in a short time. So this is what the first task is. It's, it's the preparatory task where you prepare the tooth. The second preparatory, uh, preparatory task is uh, preparing a cavity, the endoaxis, RC. Now this is a very tricky task. Do you see this cavity here? Yeah. You see how tiny this is? But still it's overextended by ADC standards. You know that? Now this is called as an endo tooth. Let me show you how an endo tooth looks like. It looks like this. It's not like a normal tooth like this. This is a special tooth. Now this is the one which is going to cost you like I guess. 25 to $25 or $14 one tooth and you can use it once so when you prepare it I hope you can appreciate when I am doing an opening you can see this canal starting so you can see this one canal two canal and this is a third canal so this is how the cavity would look from inside you'll have to have a straight axis you need to have smooth walls there should be no gauging and it takes around 30 to 35 minutes to prepare this task. Now this is an overextended cavity though it is so tiny. An ideal endo cavity which I could manage to get eventually after like 9 or 10 preps is like this. It has to be a triangular shape like this, a little twisted triangle. And uh, I know in this here I cannot show you the canals because... Uh, out here this was transparent as it's in my hand it's here in the model so i can't show you but there is a straight line axis in this and the walls are very smooth no gauging but look at the size of it it is so tiny you will take a lot of practice to master this but it is a very important task and uh, yeah a very expensive tooth so this is the second task the endo axis the third task is a cavity preparation let me show you how that looks like yeah you can see this so if you see there is this yellowishness inside I hope you can appreciate it now this tooth is different than the normal tooth and the endo tooth this tooth is like a butter do you see this black that is how this tooth will come in the exam they'll tell you there is caries and you have to prepare this tooth now this tooth had an mod caries but i had just prepared on one side this is how i'll prepare on other side by extending the cavity now the cavity has a cavity preparation outline has certain guidelines it has to be super smooth from inside 
it should have a box the contact should not be broken and it should not be over extended so this is how cavity prep should look you see such a tiny thing once you start doing and like i said this tooth is like a butter so you have to use such low force on your hand piece so this was the third task the fourth task is the restorator it can be a composite either a class 4 like this you see how this is made there should be no excess on the tooth structure of the composite i can't focus it but i hope you can see how do i focus this yeah now it is you have to make a class 4 composite the shade doesn't have to match it has to just look very smooth functional contoured adjusting to the anatomy of the tooth or you might get a complex composite which is like this on the molar one cusp is missing and uh, one of the side of the marginal ridge is missing and you have to make it now this is a very uh, shabby work of mine in the start but i've just kept the tooth to show you that this is how a composite would look like one cusp would be missing and then you'll have to prepare and the final task the most important one is this amalgam one cusp would be missing and you'll have to do a proper carving of it now i still have to practice a lot more in the amalgam i could finally start getting the anatomy a bit correct the trick here is to finish everything before the amalgam sets amalgam is by far the most difficult task because you have a very limited working time and uh, you have to carve and you have to build a cusp and all with the toffel mire and the angulation of the patient in which the mannequin is kept is really difficult so these are the tasks that you are supposed to do this is all the day one task now you have to take materials required for all of this and practice at home basically so for each task like set materials like uh, you know for amalgam you'll have your amalgam carrier your lecron carver for composite you'll have the finishing disc now adc gives you certain materials and they are not exactly the same which you might be using in the clinic so you have to order the adc specific materials only and practice so that you are comfortable in your exam now if you're doing with some amazing carver in your clinic and that is not there in the exam you will be like at a loss as to how am i supposed to carve you know you need to have the right instrument list So uh yes the these are the tasks the technical ones and yeah i'm just preparing my suitcase my room is a mess right now so i'll quickly go back to packing everything so that i don't forget and i hope this helps anything else question just message me yeah i also wanted to show you all the number of teeth that i've bought one second i will Do you see the number of teeth I have? Almost two hundred of them. Yep, I spent a bomb on this. But then these are the amount of teeth that you're supposed to like if you really want to give a fair shot to the exam. Uh, practice on like twenty on each tooth, like central twenty, lateral twenty, then I twenty. Then you'll get a hang of it. Uh, depending when your exam is uh, but i am going to keep a gap of at least 6 months from now on before i give my exam because i i should not feel that i did not prepare well enough even though i may clear i may not clear i i need to give my best and that means for the next 6 months <sighs> my sacrifices begin again and today morning itself i i shared a nice quote on the whatsapp group for the adc candidates If you don't sacrifice for the things that you want, then what you want becomes the sacrifice. So at least from my end, I'm going to try my best. The rest up to the God's wish. So I hope this helps, and uh, let me know how your journey is going. Bye bye.